see you are from the beginning. Atom is the smallest indivisible particle in the nature. We have three fundamental particles. Fundam so, so we have uh, fundamental particles. We have electrons, protons, and neutrons. What are fundamental uh, fundamental particles? Means these particles present in each and every atom. Okay, each and every atom it is present. That is fund fundamental particle. So we have electron, electron, proton, and neutron. Electron is uh, discovered by J J Thomson, and charge of the electron is discovered by R A Millikan. And the charge of electron is minus one point six into ten to the power of minus ninety coulombs. Mass is nine point one one times of ten to the power of minus thirty one kg. And here you have you have mass of electron compared to mass of hydrogen atom. Mass of electron is one by eighteen thirty seven times of mass of hydrogen atom. Uh, and proton is uh, Rutherford. And then uh, charge of uh, uh, proton is uh, that is Goldstein. And uh, here we have E is equal to one point six zero two. That is the charge of proton. This mass of proton. And this is the symbol. One is the charge. One is the mass. Here minus one is the charge. Zero is the mass. Neutron was discovered by Chadwick. Don't say neutral. Charge of the neutron is zero, and mass of the neutron is this. Then if you compare the mass of proton to mass of neutron, mass of uh, neutron is greater than mass of the proton. Okay, clear. So going to the next one, properties of charge quickly. Is it clear all of you? Yes or no? Yes, yes sir. Ah, don't don't be quiet. Otherwise, it will become very difficult for me to teach. You know. Where is Ashas and uh, Aaron? They are not in the meeting. Okay. Anyways, we'll go to the next one. Properties of charge. Okay. So this is basic. Okay. Actually, there are three parts in this lesson. Uh, first, we'll start with basics. Okay. Three or four parts. First, uh, this is what I am teaching is basics. The next one we have uh, about the fields, forces, then fields, then flux. These are the three parts in this lesson. Clear? So we have uh, derivations in field, one derivation in force, three derivations in fields, and around uh, four derivations in flux. It is like that. So anyways, I'll start, I'll try to complete the basics and the force today, forces today. Now, addition, that is uh, properties of charge. Properties of charge. So what are the properties of charge? They are additivity. The second one is what? Quantity and second one is charge is conserved. Okay, charge is conserved, and third one is what charge is uh, quantized. Okay, quantization of charge, quantization of charge. So we will start with addition, addition, additivity. The first one is additivity. Okay, what is additivity? Like, suppose you have positive charges and negative charges, irrespective of their masses. Irrespective of the mass, because mass of the proton is way more around 2000 times more than the mass of electron. Irrespective of the masses, we can still add the charges. Okay, we can still add the charges. So we can add, like suppose you have two electrons and we have five, five protons, we write E plus, whatever it is. Okay, so that will give the resultant uh, charge. Clear? Irrespective of the mass of the electron and proton or irrespective of the charges, masses, we still can add the charges. Okay, that's the first one. Second one is what? Uh, charge is uh, conserved. Charge is conserved. What is a, what is conservation of charge? Charge can neither be created yeah. or destroyed. Uh, but can be charge, is, charge is neither created. Charge is neither created nor destroyed. Okay. Nor charge is neither created nor destroyed. But can be but can be transferred. But can be transferred from one body to another. From one body to another. But can be transferred from one body to another. Charge is neither created nor destroyed, but can be transferred from one body to another. Okay. That is said to be conservation of charge. Okay. Means what? Transferred from one body to another. Means suppose a simple example I'm giving this is the bulb. And this is my battery. Okay. Now, cell, this is positive, negative. Current will flow from where to where? From positive to negative, right? Current will flow from positive to negative. But this is the this is said to be conventional current, is it not? This is said to be yes, conventional sir. current. Now, next one is what? That's the actual current. Yeah, this is this is said to be the actual current. Okay, the dotted one is said to be the actual current. Actual current or said to be electron flow. Okay, is said to be electron flow. So what happened is 
when electrons are flowing, what will happen to the electron in the bulb? Can you tell me? When the electron flows in the bulb, what will happen to the electron in the bulb? Think the electrical the energy is converted to heat energy. Okay, now charge is neither created nor destroyed, but can be transferred from one body to another. So we have two flows, conventional flow and actual flow. Okay, we have conventional flow and we have actual flow. So third one, third one is about quantization of charge. Is it what, what will happen to the electron in the bulk man? No one is answering. Will it commit suicide or will it burn over there or will it, what will happen to the electron? Uh, it will get converted to heat energy. I'm not able to get yeah. you saying. Can you say it again? The conversion to heat energy. How? How? Yes, anyone? Ruti, Ismail, Shivakshi, Moksha. Any idea? What will happen to the electron in the bulb? The electron is running here and it goes to the bulb, inside the bulb. So it becomes like, like the bulb starts glowing, right? So what is happening to the electron in the bulb? Will it burn or what will happen? It will... It will flow. Hmm? It will? It will pass through. It, it will, will flow. Through. Then how, if it passes through, what will happen to, how, how come the light comes? So it will, uh, it, first it's moving with kinetic energy. Hmm. It will go into the bulb where some of the energy will be transferred. Most of it will be transferred into the bulb as heat energy. Hmm. And then it will flow back to the positive current, uh, positive uh, terminal uh, as kinetic okay. energy. When the electrons are running, it has kinetic energy. Okay, it has kinetic energy. This this kinetic energy is when it enters here is because there is a resistance in the bulb. There is a resistance in there is a resistance in the bulb. So what happens once it enters here, the kinetic energy is converted to heat energy. Okay, maybe if it is hundred percent, maybe. Maybe uh, eighty percent of con is converted to heat energy, and with remaining with the this heat energy is later on converted to light energy. Okay, and this what happens? The remaining twenty percent kinetic energy will come out. Okay, or ten percent, maybe nine, with uh, ten percent of the kinetic energy it will come back to where? To come back to the source. Okay, come back to the bulk cell. So that is how the heat energy is being converted to light energy. Understood now? Maybe 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 twenty percent is converted to light energy. Is that clear now? Yes, sir. This is a, this is the actual conservation of charge. Okay. Next is a quantization of charge. Quick copy this one, then we'll go to the next one. Fast. Speed up, please. Done. Okay, shall I go to the next one? Quick, quick. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm planning for like next 10 days, I'm planning for one and a half hour class. You people have to tell me because the problem is once I fix the timing, I don't want to change the timing now. Whether it is 1 to like 2.30 like that, I want to take like that. It's up to you. 
you think no not now tell me in the in the message in the group okay later on check your timings and all and tell me in the group if you are ready then only i will take no compulsion okay yes जब आंसर की ओके नो नेक्स्ट इज फॉर क्वांटाइजेशन ऑफ चार्ज ओके quantization of charge what is what is quantization of charge just one second now so quantization of charge what is quantization of charge charge is uh, quantized means what here we say q is equal to plus or minus any i'll let capital any because this term will come again and again in the textbook it is given small any but i am taking capital any where n belongs to integers okay n belongs to integers what is the meaning of this can you tell me yeah Q is equal to plus or minus any n belongs to integers. So it means what happens? You know, suppose on this suppose this is the body. Okay, so there are there are maybe there can be uh, like suppose in the class how many students are there? Maybe how many five five students are there in the class? Is it not? Now do we have like four point five student or five point two student or something like that? Do we have? Is it possible? No, sir. Do we have? It is not possible, right? So the number of electrons on this body maybe it can be hundred electrons. Maybe two hundred electrons, or one zero one electrons, or ninety nine electrons. Do we have ninety nine point five electrons? No, sir. It's not possible. Ninety nine point five or hundred point one. It's not possible. So that is why we are saying the number of. If you want to like to find out the total charge, if you want to find out the total charge on this body, what you will, what you will do? Just take the number of electrons first. Suppose there are hundred electrons. Multiply the hundred electrons with the charge of the electron. If there are hundred hundred electrons on this body, on this body, then multiply that hundred with the charge of the electron. Then you will get the total charge. Understood now? Is that clear? That is said to be the quantization of charge. Is it clear? Suppose if an example, any n equal to how much? Let it be hundred electrons. Okay. So hundred hundred. Then what is the charge of the electron? E is equal to minus one point six into ten to the power of minus nineteen coulombs. Then multiply Q is equal to hundred into how much? Uh, minus 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19. So Q is equal to how much? Minus 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus uh, 17 coulomb. This is the total charge on the body. Is that clear? Is that clear? Now, is it clear? Yes, sir. Ah, then yes, sir. I'm I'm going to the this is this is about you know charge. Uh, 